Hello guys, uh, my name is Braj. Welcome to Binary Beast. Yeah. So as you guessed from the title, okay. So we are going to today we are going to do factorial of a number. Okay. I know that sounds so basic, but trust me, it's not. Okay. <laughs> now as the constraints are very high, so the normal our approach of factorial will not work in this scenario. So what we need to do is we need to go uh, old school. Yeah. So by meaning of by literally old school because uh, the thing uh, that we are going to implement today is the thing that we are implementing since our school time. Okay, I first before explaining the approach, let's just see the difference between the two codes. Okay, this is like the one which I have made, uh, and this is the one which we use in a like reg regular basis. Okay, so I'm running this simultaneously. I'm running this as well. Okay. So if, if I do 100, like 100 factorial, okay? so we will not get the answer. But in this case, if I do 100 factorial, uh, I will get some answer. Okay, So 100, yeah, I am getting. It's a huge number and we are getting. Okay, So now what's the magic? Like uh, why in this case we are not getting and why in this case we are getting? Okay, If you are talking of constraints, trust me, this was long, long and still it was not able to answer. The year I have intentionally take an int so that to see whether answer um, we, are, we are getting the answer or not and we are getting answer okay so this is the difference between the two codes okay so it is something which we are going to study today so i am just so in this uh, what we will do is i'll just code and i will just uh, explain you by side by side okay yeah just a sec yeah so let's start std c++ dot h using namespace int main and okay we are taking value from user it's there and we are starting with the two because as we all know that um, if we if the end value is five okay so what we do usually is two into three into four into five so i'm starting with two uh, okay so now what i'll do is simple while q is less than equal to n and q plus plus okay this is like the basic approach we all do this kind of stuff and this is like the you know this is the basic approach what we so this is the basic approach what we all do nice but now what's something what's the one thing that's different so let's here see the approach which we are going to follow so what uh, in this case what i am going to do is uh, in this case, what I'm going to do is let's say if we have a number, let's say uh, in 5 factorial, if you are getting 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, so 2 into 3, which is 6, 6 into 4 is 24. Now, what I'll do is I will try to store 24 in two array variables. That is my ARR will be my array. So ARR of 0 will have 4 and ARR of 2 will have 2. Okay, so now in this case, however large my, num my number be, we will store it in different uh, array elements so that each array element will have a single digit. Okay, so that's my like trick which we are going to follow. So before that, let's just initialize the array. Int array. Oh, what I'm typing. Okay, this is my any random and uh, okay. So we will initialize all of them with zero. And our first element will be 1. Cool. Also, as I mentioned in just a slight hint that we are going to keep a track on the length of our answer. Means in 2, initially answer is 2. Then 2 into 3 is 6. They both are 1 digit number. Then 6 into 4 is 24. That means number becomes a 2 digit number. Okay. So we are going to also maintain length which initial value is 1. And we are also going to maintain a counter. Now I will explain the role of counter in the further parts. Okay, so for now what I am doing is while my x which is 0, 0 is less than len and okay nice because our like our first number is 2 it's a one digit number so we are simply doing um, so we are simply doing like x is less than n so here what I will do is arr of x is equal to arr of x into q fair enough. Yeah, because here ARR 0 is equal to ARR 0 into Q. Q value is 2. Yeah, see here we are given Q value is 2. So ARR of 0 value becomes, okay, 
So here I am going to rub this off. And ARR of 0 becomes 2. Nice. Okay. Nice. Now I'll do is I, I need to exit from this loop. So for the exiting, I'll just write x plus plus. What happens is x value becomes 1 and 1 is uh, less than 1. I think no because 1 is equal to 1. We will get out of this loop and now value of q increases. So now the value of q becomes 2. Okay. So now the value of so I'm going to just maintain another notepad in which I will just uh, maintain the value of q okay it's for you guys for better understanding q was 2 we got that now q value becomes 3 okay so now if q value so now if q value is becoming 3 okay so what happening is x is less than len which means x okay for now we just need to again initialize x equal to 0 because again 3 is a single digit number so we again needs x equal to 0 now while 0 is less than len, yes. Why? Because 0 is less than 1. ARR of 0 is equal to ARR 0 into Q. That means ARR of 0 is equal to ARR of 0 which is 2 into 3 is equal to 6. So ARR 0 is 6. Now x becomes plus plus, x value becomes 1 and 1 is less than 1. No, so we are getting out and the value of Q is incrementing. So now value of Q becomes 4. Now here comes the turning point. Why? Okay, let's see. Now, why here my Q becomes a turning point? Because what is happening is now S value Q becomes 4. Okay, so 4 is less than equal to 5. Now, X becomes 0. X is less than N. ARR of 0 is equal to ARR of 0 into 4. That means 6 into 4 is equal to 24. But as we have already set the ground rules that only one array element can only contain one digit. So we can only store either 2 or 4. Okay. So what we will do is we will just store the units place. That is in this case if it is 24 we will store the 4 in ARR 0 and we will store 2 in ARR of 1. Now how do we do this? That's the trick. Okay. So what we will do is we will just initialize a new variable whose value will be num okay I'm just initializing num equal to 0 and what num will have is ARR of x by 10 okay so what num will contain ARR x which means ARR of 0 upon 10 will do and my ARR of x will be ARR of x modulo 10 okay that means my ARR of 0 will contain 24 modulo 10 which is equal to 4. Okay, now we are done I think because ARR 0 is 4 and now x plus plus x becomes 1. 1 is equal to 1. Yeah, so 1 is not less than length. So we are getting out of this while loop and now q plus plus so q value becomes 5. But, but, but we have to store this 2 somewhere guys because our answer is not just ARR 0. The answer is ARR of 1 as well. So, where do we need to store ARR1? For that, we need to maintain another while loop which has a key role of len. Okay. Why num is not equal to 0? Just see what I am doing. Okay. Num is not equal to 0, and what I am doing is ARR of len is equal to num modulo 10 and num is equal to num by 10 and len plus plus okay I'm, I'm explaining what i've done i'm like it's a really slightly tricky but just try to understand the value of num was 2 so what i did was arr of len now remember guys len initial value was 1 okay so arr of len which means arr of 1 value becomes 2 more 10 which is 2 and num is equal to num by 10 so now value of num becomes 0 and my len becomes 2 which means that now my answer is a two digit number because 24 is a two digit number and in ARR 1 we have 2 and ARR of 0 we have 4 that's the nice thing we are getting answer okay so now just let's see for 5 and then we are done okay first let me just see this okay I'm going to stop this okay yeah now let's just see for n is equal to 5 okay now for n is equal to 5 what is happening is here x is equal to 0 norm equals to 0 fine fine with it okay so 
I have x equal to 0 and I have num is equal to 0. Now here just consider one thing. Now our land value is 2. Okay, so don't forget that. So 0 is less than 2. It's fine. I'm entering ARR of x is equal to ARR of x into q. Now value of q is 5. Okay, so my ARR of 0 will become ARR 0 which was 4. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. 20. Okay. And now what is happening is, okay, now let's just, let's just, just moving forward. What we are going to do is just like, we will first like go through our hand rule of multiplication. Like if you want to do 24 into 5, what we usually do is, uh, we usually do 4 into 5, which is equal to 20. So in this case, as we got 20, it's fine. So what we do is I score 0 here and 2 is in our, um, you know, like stock because when we will do 2 into 5 i am going to add that 2 and it will become 120 okay this is the same approach what we are going to do now just just try to find the similarity between this okay so coming back to track arr 0 is 20 okay we are fine with it now num is equal to arr x modulo 10 so my what will my num have num will have 2 okay and arr of 0 will have 0 and my x value will be 1 okay so we have got 0 and here also 0 so we are going right now let's see for one more iteration now x becomes 1 land was 2 so 1 is less than 2 we are good to go arr of 1 is equal to what now arr of 1 will be equal to arr of 1 but what was initially in arr 1 it was 2 okay so what we are doing is 2 into 5 we are doing this diagonal just find the similarity just find the trick arr 1 is equal to 2 into 5 is equal to 10 okay now num is equal to num modulo 10 so my num value was 2 2 modulo 2 by 10 is equal to 0 are we missing something yes we are missing the addition of that 2 we are not adding that Okay, so we have to add that 2. Now, because we, we do not want 10, we want 12 because the answer is going to be 120, not 100. Okay, so why, how do we make this? How do we make this change? We can make this change just by adding ARR of x is equal to ARR x plus num. Now, our ARR 1 is equal to 12. Now, num is 0. And now, uh, ARR of 1 is equal to 12 modulo 10, which is 2 following this step right now x plus plus value of x is going to be 2 and we are going to be out of this while loop hey, just a second yeah we are going to be out of this while loop but however we are missing one term where is like where is one because when okay here was one because when it was 12 okay when arr1 was 12 in this step after following this step we got arr1 as 12 and num is equal to arrx by 10 which means 12 by 10 which was 1 and after following this step we got arr1 is equal to 2 now where will we store this one this one will has to be stored in arr of 2 now how does this process work so it's easy we have we have already coded for that thing okay so we don't do not have to worry as num is not equal to zero yes because num value is one and arr len is equal to num modulo 10 so our arr of 2 will be equal to one okay then num is equal to num by 10 so num value become again zero and our len value will be equal to three that means that in five factorial our answer is a three digit number which is absolutely correct because the five factorial is 120 which is a three digit number okay so we are going perfectly fine okay so this is like the general working let me see the recording okay, we are good to go. okay now let's just try to print the array and we are done okay what we will do is while len minus minus and we are just going to print arr of len and len okay it's already done good and because here last time we were incrementing one more time last iteration that's why and i hope there is no error okay <laughs> every programmer dreams that that whatever he or she codes there should be no error okay. today my dream came true <laughs> now let's see if it's correct or not and if i write something like uh, 6 it's 20 so i'm uh, it's right the answer will be 720 I am missing something. I think it's I'm not printing the you know 
then is equal to tan minus 1. Or I'm not incrementing somewhere or I'm just making a slight mistake, I think. Uh, okay, <laughs> now it's 7 to 1, I'm not getting 0. <laughs> Let me just omit this. It's strange. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just see. I'm forgetting something somewhere, or I don't know. I'm doing Q plus plus. I'm doing ARRX. Okay. Uh, I'm doing everything that's possible. Uh, it's Y LAN. LAN. Uh, I'll just do that. It's not so important, but still. LAN is equal to LAN minus 1. I'm just not getting the last one. It, am I storing somewhere or I'm not storing x equal to 0? ERR x is equal to ERR of x into q. That means that ERR is 0, 2 into 3. ERR x is ERR x now. I'm doing num is num, here are x is here are x modulo 10, while num is not equal to 0. Uh, ARR of lan, I'm incrementing the lan as well. Then q plus plus, I think I'm going fine, however, there has to be something. Okay, okay, I get it, get it, get it, get it, I think. While lan is greater than 0, I think. Okay, it should be greater than or equal to zero. I mean, okay, just stop. I think it will work now. Is there a slight mistake? Mm. Yeah, it's working fine. <coughs> A sense of relief if we get the debugging right here yeah, for all the coders I think okay now let's just submit it and see if it it's accepted or not I'm pretty sure it's going to be accepted still let's just see okay the camera button is actually hiding the just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm just like submitting the code. I have not enabled the. Okay, now let's just see if it's working or not. Yeah, so it has passed all the test cases. Okay. Yes, it has passed the, all the test cases and it's working fine. Okay, and if you have just not understood the code or anything, and if you have just understood the code, uh, you can, as usual, write in the comment section. I will answer each and everything. Okay, and uh, just to be sure that uh, I'm going to link, uh, I'm going to like post the link in the comments uh, in the description section as well as my code. So, yeah, it would be fine for today. And also, if you guys have any other code which you want like a proper solution, you can just write in the comment section or you can mail me. Okay. Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks.